Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Space Engineers. Uh, in the uh, last episode, we managed to get uh, jettisoned into space, and now we are on our way or working our way towards the moon. We have uh, been establishing our ship. Let's go outside here. On. Let's open up and let's go outside here and see what we have done. So I started building a cargo container to increase our cargo size. And I did get a basic refinery added to the bottom down here. Now what's kind of holding us up is we need some more ores to find and I think what I'm going to do is there is some asteroids that are right here within uh, jetpack distance and so I think we're going to cruise over to these and see if we can find hopefully we will find some cobalt all right so let's take a look at our inventory that's basically just everything there now I have been going after the unknown signals that one's a little far away so we'll leave that one as is but let's head up to this asteroid right over here and see if we can find something useful on it that would actually be really helpful I'd really love to find some cobalt so that we can start making some uh, metal grids that way we can get that small cargo container built and it will give us uh, a little bit of cobalt for the journey onto the moon so let's hopefully we can find that the other ore we need to find is iron and we haven't really seen much of that but if we can get some cobalt that'll be a good start and then we can start uh, heading to another asteroid as we are making our way to the moon all right, let's check this out and see what we got up here. So our mission here on this uh, season, again, is to make our way to the moon and establish a moon base that they, that can be used for mining, and a place to oh, let me let me turn my flashlight on that'll help that way we can see all right all right let's hopefully we can pick something up here find something anything let's travel over to the sunny side of this asteroid maybe we can spot something up here something there there's something here oh, I just saw a brief that's the problem with this tier one drill it 
it's not very far it doesn't reach out very far so it's very difficult to detect the ores that we need to find cobalt that's what we wanted okay there we go okay cobalt let's get as close as we can we're gonna drill in for it okay that's oh well, this is a big find this is this will allow us to get that uh, storage compartment finished. There we go. All right, let's start uh, collecting this. I think just one trip over here will be more than enough cobalt. Gonna end up with some stone and stuff with it as well. But let's kind of collect everything that we can. All right. Inventory full. Okay. All right. Let's head back to the ship. Just for future reference. Alright. And we'll do that by getting into our inventory. Click our GPS. New current. We're going to call this Cobalt Mine. Okay, got that. All right, now let's uh, let's get back to our spawn ship. Uh, make sure we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, that's got to be that over there. Come on over. And then we'll come back and get that unknown signal as well. All right, things are already looking up. ore processing. Okay. Dump this in. There it is in there. Uh, I probably need to turn the basic refinery on. We're doing that so that we could uh, kind of conserve some of our power. Okay, now let's... Uh, 
dump the cobalt in there for now. There we go. And let's drop that little bit of stone in there. Get that. That will give us a little bit of resources out of the stone. Okay. We'll let that cobalt work. Let's go ahead and get uh, charged up again. oxygen supply okay all right all right looking better all right we'll have to go after that unknown signal that shouldn't be too bad that should give us some more resources The other thing that we want to do is we want to get a not uh, at least a basic assembler built. That will let us that will allow us to build more let's see here. Doing two things at once here. Let's turn that off. Okay. That will give us uh, access to more parts to build that we'll need. And we can get quite a few parts, like computers and stuff, out of these unknown signals. So, hopefully, that's going to be fruitful for flying out here. Okay. Hopefully this is not one of those goofy... Oh, it is! Dang it. Oh. Alright, well that was kind of a waste of time. All right, we're just going to leave that one be. Uh, where's our ship at? That's the cobalt mine. Is there another asteroid that we can traverse to while we're out here? All right. Let's see. That one doesn't look too bad. How about... Uh, i tell you what. I'm going to traverse over that asteroid. Once I get over there, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, I made it over here to the asteroid, and I've been flying around, and we just happened to find magnesium. So let's go ahead and mine some of this magnesium, because we're going to need to set up some uh, defenses so that we can kind of keep an eye out for the space pirates. So let me go ahead and get this magnesium mine. It. Might make a couple of trips over here for this just so that we can uh, make sure we have enough magnesium powder so that we can make ammunition. Once I get this bind and I get back to the ship, I'll catch back up with y'all. All right, I made it back. I actually made a couple of trips for magnesium, so we got that filled in. Uh, I want to... So we need to, in order to make metal grids, we have to have a basic assembler. So let's see if we can't put the basic assembler right up here on top. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the basic assembler is 
they only have, if you look at it, uh, they only have the one access port. So I'm thinking if we drop it right on up here, flip that over, we can build that in right here. So let's let's see what we need to do here. All right, we got iron place, so we need construction components, motors, and computers. So that's where those unknown signals kind of help a lot. But that next one that respawned was over 10 kilometers away, so we're not going to mess with that. So let's let's see what uh, we got for materials. Might have to do some stone mining. All right, let's uh, hit our. Ah, uh, we've got uh, construction components. We've got some computers. We've got a couple of motors. Let's uh, let's see what else we're gonna need. Let's. All right, so we still need we need uh, eight more motors, and we need uh, about uh, seventy-one more computers. So we're gonna let's see what we can make. I know I got a couple of displays down there. Uh, let's uh, let's get back in here, and let's go to our. We got two displays. We can grab that. We can actually put these pieces back in here. Let's go to production. Let's see if we can. Energy low. Let's see if we can just get started making some. Okay, it is going to pull in the materials. All right. I know we're going to have to do some more stein, stone mining. All right. Well, let me get charged up here. And then we'll go grab some stone to put that in there to start getting some more materials. Iron would have been nice to find, uh, but we did find two pretty valuable ores for us. So we're set on uh, cobalt and magnesium for a while. All right, let's get back out here. All right, I'm gonna do some stone mining and once I get enough stone and stuff uh, gathered up, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I've made a few trips over there and have brought back stone and I have those, have that uh, stone all refined. So let's see if we can, uh, let's figure out what we need to make here. So we need four metal grids. Actually, we don't. Let's go over to G here. Let's remove that. And here's our build planner for our basic assembler. So we need eight motors, two displays, and 63 computers. So let's see what we can make here. And... Oh, where does, oh I got those 10 computers. Let's see something here. Go up here and okay. I don't remember where I got those computers from, but all right. Let's let's clear everything out and start again. Let's go to G. Let's clear the build planner. Now let's. Uh... All right, that's added to the build planner. I know we need eight motors. Let's see if we can make those motors all right get over to production let's go one two three, six seven eight looks like we got enough materials for that uh we needed let's see let's go into g we needed two more displays See if we can 
get those in production. One, two. We got enough for that. Now, the biggie, we needed 61 computers. 10, 20, 30, 50, 60, 1. We might have enough materials for that. Well, that'll be cool if we can get our basic assembler built. Then we should be able to get our grids built, our metal grids that we need, and then we can finish this cargo container. And then we kind of got to see what we want to do. We want to hang around here, or do we want to start pushing forward towards the moon and find another asteroid? Uh, we might want to mine some more ice before we leave, just to make sure we have plenty of ice. But this is great that we at least got our basic, uh, basic refinery and our basic assembler built here on this first stop. We'll be able to get by with the basic refinery all the way to the moon. Uh, the next step that we want to do is uh, start working on our uh, regular assembler and we'll build it right attached to the basic refinery. So, let's uh, grab all of our parts. And let's uh, build this. All right, we've got a basic assembler. All right, now let's see if uh, we should be able to go into production and we should see basic assembler and we need four metal grids. Let's see if we got enough to build those. Nice, all right. Let's go over to our inventory. Let's pull these in. And let's, uh, uh, oh, we need two motors. Let's build those two motors as well. Production. One, two. We should have enough for to build those. All right, what's left? Uh, that's it. Let's let's grab those. Let's grab the two motors. Let's grab the two motors. And let's build this thing out. All right, we've just doubled our storage capacity. And so that's perfect. I like this. All right. So the other thing that we're going to eventually want to do, well, so let's go and look at the production on this uh, basic assembler. And you can see why it was important. Uh, you can see that we have ore detectors, we have power cells uh, and metal grids. We have our medical components that we can build. So there's all of this plus the bulletproof glass. If we go over to the survival kit, you can see basically all we could build was interior plates, construction components, uh, basically metal, just real basic materials. So the basic assembler was pretty important to get that up and going. So this can get us quite a ways. Now, if we go over to ammo with the basic assembler, we can build the Gatling ammo box, which we're eventually going to build a Gatling gun and we're going to set that up here on top but the next thing we've got to start building is solar panels we need to get a passive way of keeping this ship charged so I'm thinking about putting it putting the solar panels uh, I think they're going to attach if I take this out right here this block and we'll go ahead and do that now. What I would like to do... Yeah. That block right there. Let's go ahead and get it out. And we're going to start... Let's go ahead and just start laying the foundation. I think that gives us the materials. I think what I want to do, if we hit 8, and we flip those up, they will fit right in here. And I want to put one on each side to start with. I think that's the way we want to orientate it. Uh, let's put it back one. Let's put it 
like that. We put that there. Oh, we got to take out the other one on this side. So we have the hydrogen engine, which is important. That runs off ice. And we can get by as long as we get ice. That hydrogen engine will kind of keep us going. So let's go ahead and put this in here. So now the big thing is we need a lot of solar cells. 32 on each one. So we can go ahead and start steadily working on one of these. But I think what I'd like to do at this point is start making our way to the next asteroid. Now the moon, let's come over here. Where is the moon? Where did it go? Oh, there it is, kind of in under there. So that is our destination over there. So let's go ahead and hop back into the ship hop back into the ship. I didn't think I drifted that far from it. Okay. And so let's get on the move. from this asteroid so we don't crash into it. Let's, uh... And there's our moon, so I'm going to get lined up on it. And we're going to get started moving forward. Once I feel that I'm to the next set of asteroids that I want to uh, explore, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, we've been cruising along. We've managed to make some distance here. I've got two fairly large asteroids. Uh, you can see one towards the top of the screen and one towards the uh, right uh, that we can explore. So I think we're going to set up here and explore a little bit. Uh, let me go ahead and hop back into the cab. We'll do this one right here first. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Uh, we'll just kind of coast on in there and hopefully not hit anything. That would not be a good thing at all. Hey, you know what? I think this is about close enough right here. Let's hit the dampeners. We'll just stop right here. Uh, I think we're going to, let's just pop out. Let's go ahead and get recharged up. I'm sure we've got plenty of fuel. And of course we had an unknown signal, so it's a ways back there, so we're not gonna worry about it. And all right, let's get the old uh, drill out and hopefully we can find something that's going to be useful to us. Let's see what we got. See if we can find anything. All right, well, I tell you what, I'm going to explore this asteroid and if I find something, I'll catch back up with you all. 
Well, I did not find anything on that asteroid. It doesn't mean that there wasn't something there. Uh, again, I've got this uh, uh, level one drill, and so it probably might not be picking stuff up, uh, especially if there's stuff that's buried deep into the asteroid. So let's go over there and check out this other asteroid. Hopefully there's something more closer to the surface that we can uh, find. At some point, I need to put a better ore detector on this ship, but I'm hoping to find some iron before I am uh, ready to do that, because I think if I remember correctly, uh, the ore detector will take quite a bit of uh, materials to build a large ore detector on here. But it will help us as we're exploring these asteroids. So let's take a look outside the ship. Let's start swinging around. And let's get uh, aimed up over here for this other asteroid. And let's uh, turn the initial dampeners off. And let's uh, start cruising over there. We don't want to get going too fast. Because we've got to be able to slow down so we don't crash into the asteroid itself. That would be a predicament for sure. But as you can see, we've already traveled some almost 35 kilometers from our original spot, I believe. And this last, uh, uh, our last stop, we're already about uh, 15 to 20 kilometers from there. So we are making some progress moving forward. I'm pretty sure we got probably maybe another 100 kilometers, if I had to guess, to get to the moon. Uh, we're going to try to find a good group of asteroids that's probably about 25 kilometers from the moon and what we're going to do there is uh, build an outpost so once we get to that point or what I feel that we're to that point then we're going to spend some time there and we'll actually get it built up into a pretty decent uh, little uh, outpost all right we are closing in on this asteroid And let's uh, let's hit the dampeners about now, and let's uh, go inside, and so we can let's cruise a little bit closer. just slowly start uh, getting the dampeners off and on uh, that way we can slowly get this thing slowed down We're still showing two days worth on the battery and obviously we haven't touched our hydrogen at all so I was going to get some more ice and I forgot to do that back at the last stop but we should find more ice as we uh, cruise along all right I think this is uh, close enough uh, so let me hop out of this here yeah oh there we go now we're back got our uh, feet in the ground let's uh, get our hydrogen okay well let's go for a flight Okay, once again, I'm going to go out there and uh, explore the asteroid, and uh, if I find something, I'll uh, catch back up with you all about then. Well, we found some silver. I am going to actually mine some of this, so when we are able to build, uh, or to a place that we want to build a... Uh, uh, not a survival kit but a medical uh, facility then we're going to need that silver to buy uh, to build medical components so I'm going to go ahead and and uh, over to go there it is all right I'm gonna go ahead and 
drill in and get some of this silver to take along with us. We're not going to refine any of it right now, but that's okay. We'll have it on board when we need it. So let me go ahead and do that. And once I get back to the ship, I think we are going to push forward and try to find another set of asteroids to see if that will be a good place to stop. All right, I'll catch back up with you here in a little bit. All right, I am back here at the ship. I do need to get charged up here. We don't want to have another incident where I'm almost dying because I'm low on energy. So let's get charged up. I did get uh, a lot of silver. So we'll just put that in the storage compartment. I don't, the, we don't have to worry about the basic refinery trying to uh, grind it because it's, uh, it doesn't do silver. It only will do the basic ores, which is uh, iron, silica, nickel, and cobalt, I believe, are the four that it can grind into ore. So let's go ahead and throw this in the old uh, uh, cargo container here. And we'll put it in. Let's go ahead and put it in this first one. That's a good one. And then we're going to go ahead and throw this stone in. We might as well... I think I'm going to go get another thing of stone. Plus, we actually got an unknown signal that's actually close enough. I'm going to go grab it. So let's... Uh, uh, I'm going to go grab that unknown signal. And then I'll catch back up with you after I've got it. And I've gotten some more stone. Okay, I have gotten back from the unknown signal and I've also managed to mine uh, made a couple of trips of mining stone now the other thing I just remembered with by getting cobalt I believe we can go in and create at least the next level set of tools so let's see if we can make us a new drill A new welder. And a new grinder. Okay. So now we've got a completely new set of tools. Let's go ahead and pull those over into the inventory. Grab those. And let's uh, move these to where they should be. That should be at least to where I like to have them. I like to have the welder and then the grinder and then, oop, wrong drill, then the drill. Now what we are going to do with these ones that we currently got, let's go over to the basic assembler. The nice thing about the basic assembler uh, with, uh, there we are, we can drop these things over in here. We can go over to our production panel and we have disassembling. So now we can disassemble these three old tools, disassemble all, and we can get the resources out of them. Not much, but every little bit helps. Now the other thing that I need to do Go over here, go to character tools, and I need to drop these down into the hot bar. Do that, do that, and do that. All right, so let's see what the next, what are the next, I think, uh, well, let's go over to the production tools. And I guess, yeah, that's where we're going to need to do the regular assembler to get the next tier of tools to be able to build. All right. Well, we've got new tools. I think we're coming to a spot where we could probably should call it 
good right now. We've been uh, kind of cruising along for quite a while here. So I think this will be a good spot to start the next episode. All right, let's cruise here. Actually, what I am going to do is we're going to call the episode good here. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next set of asteroids. And I will be at the next set of asteroids when we reach or when I start the next uh, video. So, okay. Well, with that, let's uh, kind of get uh, settled here. Kind of pointing out. Let's kind of be... Let's kind of look out on the asteroid right here. Okay, well, all you space engineers out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That will really help the channel. Okay, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low. Keep building away and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.